Good day and greetings to all. My name is Martin Fischer. I'm a member of ZF Group's Board of Management. And I'm really happy to welcome all of you to our virtual CES press conference today. It is a pity we are virtual again. We had planned exactly on that slide here to welcome everyone on stage and by stage uh, in Las Vegas. So it has been with regret that with ZF Group we took a major decision to go virtual again in order to really protect what's the most important, the health and safety of our employees and of our business partners. And I know many of you have made the same decision, and therefore welcome again to the virtual event here. We are going to proceed in two parts. I'm going to make a brief presentation and then we open up for questions and answers. It has been two difficult years throughout the COVID and the chip crisis and it was really a moment to demonstrate both courage and resilience on the company side. At ZF, we've always focused really on the next generation mobility strategy plus the transformation of the entire company. So today we are going to talk how we get from internal combustion engine to electric mobility. From driver to driven. From hardware components to intelligent systems that are basically driven by software. So we proceed and pursue these trends in all of our vehicle seg segments and um, also in our industrial applications. So another big step in 2022 is the full integration and the completion of the integration of Vapcos. You remember that was a bold move in the midst of the crisis acquiring that company. And now starting in January, we have combined all the business around commercial vehicles into our commercial vehicle solutions division. And that is a powerhouse in the commercial vehicle market right now. Let me talk about our theme this year. It's about the next generation mobility and it's now. So when we invest in forward oriented technologies, at all times we want to make sure there is immediate impact, immediate product that we can deliver to the market and therefore also a payback to the investments. So in that regard, we are going to touch on four items today. Number one is e-mobility and how we are going to generate more efficiency to the e-mobility products. Number two is the software defined vehicle and how ZF really engages in all different levels of software. Number three is going to be an update on our autonomous shuttle business. And number four, we're going to announce a major new uh, customer partnership in the range of advanced driver assistance systems. So let's get started on e-mobility. It is definitely on a fast track for ZF and we are transforming in that area very much from our transmissions to all sorts of electrified drivetrains. The global trend is real and we have fully embraced it. We can already rely on quite some competencies and experiences and also on a great market leadership because we brought electrification to our transmissions early in the form of hybrid transmissions. The next step, looking forward, it's all about gaining additional efficiency for these drivetrains and lowering the cost. So the inverter is really the centerpiece of it. And that's what we are working on. The inverter transforms energy from the motor to the battery and vice versa. And that's where we still have some good room for improvement when it comes to efficiency. What it takes is great understanding of semiconductors and a good knowledge of software to translate that knowledge into the right controlling strategies. Working with partners like Wolfspeed support that whole case for us. So again, expect efficiency to go up quite a bit and costs will be lowered. When we bring up our platforms, it is important that they are scalable and modular. So no matter if we are on 400 volt or up to 800 volt, if we are on conventional silicon or silicon carbide chips, uh, we bring that all together into one platform. And the big benefit for our customers is that this way we can reduce the development time. And reductions are in the range of up to 50% from our initial developments. So it's really again about chip understanding, software competencies and good automotive ingenuity that makes us going forward in that range. So now let's touch on software and put that into a broader perspective. Right now it's really, really well acknowledged by the industry that software defines the future of it and is really a strong value driver. So therefore in ZF, 
we touch all different levels of software in our activities. From operating systems and middleware, to vehicle level functions, and then up to entire mobility solutions. In order to accelerate that and deliver right now, we are strong believers in collaboration and partnerships. With the next example, I want to demonstrate what I mean with really strong and impactful collaboration and partnership. In the center of that section is our autonomous shuttle. So this is truly a lighthouse project when it comes to new technology at ZF. And software is responsible for most of its functionality. So let's start top level. We need for that vehicle a virtual driver, so a piece of software that maneuvers the shuttle either in dedicated lanes or in mixed traffic operations. And one of the partners we have chosen to develop that is Ox Body Car. And um, it has been really impressive when you see these shuttles maneuver around in open roads. And uh, yep, it is autonomous driving at level four. Then if you want to take that high level function software and bring it to different electronics platforms, to different computers, this is the best possible if we work on a middleware level. And this middle layer software is an abstraction level that allows the functions to move from different controllers to others. So we don't have to start the development from scratch, going from one microcontroller to another SOC. The partner we have announced for that one is KPIT, a leader in automotive solutions. And what we do with them is develop a fully flexible and modular open source scalable middleware software. So that will find itself then not only in ZF products, but we also offer it to OE and mobility solution providers for their application into their vehicles. If we now drill even a level deeper and say we also need an operating system, we just announced that we have taken a stake into Apex AI. So Apex AI is offering a open source, again, operating system and it's really special in the sense that it has been qualified for an ACLD level. ACLD is the highest level of functional safety in mobility applications. So we can have an operating system that's really safe to maneuver again these autonomous vehicles. So when you see all this is happening now, therefore it's the next generation mobility now. A lot of all this software is happening in the ZF cloud that we just very recently started together with the help of Microsoft. In that cloud project, we go rough abroad. So we bring all the vehicle data up, we have the development data there, we have all the data from operations, and finally also our digitalized business processes. So when we connect all that information, all that data, and run artificial intelligence on it, that really gives way to an entirely new range of products and business models with those products. So let's get back to the shuttle. I mean, it's pretty obvious the virtual driver gets better and better through a cloud connection to the infrastructure. So knowing what the next traffic light is about is gonna help the virtual driver to perform. Or even broader, if we have smart cities that control the entire traffic flow, we can give good advice to the shuttle which routes to take and where better not to be. And then for the users of these shuttles, it's also clear. With their mobile apps, they have a chance to learn about the location, the arrival time, and the occupancy of these shuttles. Now let's talk about the market introduction. Late last year, we announced that in Germany, in this year, 2022, we will see the first applications of the ZF shuttles on the road. And the big message today is, we are also arriving to the North American market. Here we are going to show up with our long-term partner Oceaneering and we'll bring the entire product range to the market. And the product range is really complete. It starts with the vehicle and all its systems. It has the virtual driver plus all the services it takes to operate these shuttles. So customers can be OEs, it can be fleets, mobility providers, ports, airports, um, you name them. And from the experience level, we can really bring a good year and year and year experience to this market here. It starts with the automotive grade components for the autonomous function. Then through our wholly owned subsidiary to get there, we are also used to operating these shuttles. We have done that in the Netherlands, 
and in Belgium for years and years. And last not least, our colleagues from ZF Mobility Services, they manage the planning and the implementation of the services. And our aftermarket team is spread all over the world and can help servicing the vehicles. So we are now approaching first cities here and airports as well, with Greenville Spartanburg being one of the examples where we are in important conversations. So let's bring it home with our fourth important news today, and that's in the range of advanced driver assistance systems. Here we would like to announce a new partnership with an automotive group, and that's VinFast from Vietnam. So we found out that the missions between VinFast and ZF Group are really well aligned. Both of us go for safe and efficient mobility without too much or minimum impact really on our environment. The first step in this partnership is going to be the launch of an L2 Plus system. But that's not all. Right? Next generation mobility in this case means we are also going to go to higher automation levels and uh, in 2023 bring up level 3 functionality with WinFast. The system is open and we'll be also adding then selected level 4 features later on, in particular in the area of parking. So when we look at the ingredients of that system, there is an advanced sensor set of ZFs. So it has a forward-facing camera, has surround cameras, it has mid-range radars and imaging radars on it, and then also a further option for our LiDAR sensors. The centerpiece, the intelligence, comes through ProAI, and that's ZFs, high performance computer, the best performing computer in the market these days. And that's where we calculate all the functionality for these ADAS level three and later level four functions. So WinFast is really, really rapid in launching their electric SUVs. And we are really happy to contribute that. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a special guest. With us this morning is Madame Twilay the Vice Chairwoman of the Wind Group and CEO of WinFast, Madam Lei. Thank you, Mr. Fisher, for that kind introduction, and we are very happy to be working with you. At WinFast, our mission is to have the world make the switch to cleaner, more sustainable, and safer electric vehicles. That means our number one priority is ensuring that making that switch is an easy and life-enhancing experience for WinFast customers. Uh, an important part of our transformation is accelerating our efforts with global partners like CF. Our companies are perfectly matched with each other as our goals for mobility are perfectly aligned. Uh, the future is both electric and automated as we seek to help protect our environment while providing transportation that enhances safety, convenience and efficiency. We will work together to achieve this vision for VinFast customers as we expand our sales around the world. Safety and sustainability go hand in hand uh, in our vision. ZF will be our key system partner, supplying multiple cameras, radars, and LiDAR sensors. And the intelligent fusion of these sensors within an advanced ZF central control unit. This will enable VinFast and ZF to deliver level 2 plus automated driving functions initially and work together to develop higher level functions such as traffic jam pilot, highway driving chauffeur and automated valet parking. Working with trusted global partners like ZF, we have VinFast ensure that our customers can enjoy advanced technologies with high reliability and quality and receive an enriched mobility experience that is environmentally friendly with safety, comfort, and convenience built in. We look forward to a long and exciting partnership with CF. Thank you, Madam Lee. We look very much forward to collaborating on these programs. Let's wrap it up. Next generation mobility is truly happening now at ZF. And it is not coming overnight, it is a consequence of good strategizing and years of transformation. And we are yet accelerating on that journey. We heavily rely on the power of more than 150,000 people in that transformation and go further to really resource the best ideas and the best talent through our ecosystem 
and the many partnerships we were talking about today. And that's also a theme now for the CES. We are running these days a hackathon, an open source software hackathon to find some solutions really from global teams. And also we have invited quite a few startup companies for their pitches, even now we are going to do them virtually. So you see, there's a lot of action. There is next generation mobility happening here and now. Thank you very much for your interest. And with that, we come to questions and answers.